You are welcome to Claribel Health Hub today. I'm your hostess, Clarice. Like we discussed in our previous video about do's of vulval care or vaginal hygiene, today we are looking at don'ts. The things we are not supposed to do to maintain a healthy and a clean vagina. Ladies, it's important for us to note the vagina naturally washes it itself. That is how God made it. If we can't even testify to that, every month there is a flow. This flow cleans up all through from the service down to the vagina. When I talk of the service, I'm talking about that part way high into the vagina. At any point in time, if you happen to insert your hands, clean hands or fingers into your vagina, you will hit something like the tip of your nose. That is the service. And that is the opening or the entrance into the womb. The womb is that part which harbors a baby when we are pregnant. So we must note that as God created us, he has paved way all the way from the external environment right into our internal part. That part where we don't see. So when it comes to our washing, ladies, let's remember, we are not supposed to wash in the vagina. We only wash the external part. Like we discussed in our previous video, the vulva. The outer part we can see that we can easily wash with water. It is recommended by various gynecologists and obstetricians to avoid the use of scented or perfumed vaginal feminine products as these interfere with the normal flora of the vagina, bringing about some kind of infections at any point in time. In our quest and desire to have that sweet smelling scent of the vagina, we do all sorts of things. For example, douching. Douching is where a lady rinses or washes inside the tubular organ we call the vagina. It is a no-no. It is not recommended. Douching chemicals can also offset the vaginal flora bringing about some kind of infection we have not even expected or been looking forward to. Let's remember to avoid it. In wearing our undergarments, let us not wear too tight panties, too tight undergarments. I do know and appreciate the fact that during athletic or exercises, we use these tight clothing. As much as you can, change into appropriate clothing or breathable materials as soon as your athletic exercise is over. Ladies, J-string, the thong or the GS, these are a kind of particular panty as shown in the picture. We are not to wear them for too long a time we can wear them for a short period of time. Fancifully, most of our male partners enjoy seeing us in them. We don't recommend it because the GS give a direct link among the urethral orifice, the vaginal orifice, and the inner orifice. Because of how tiny it is, at any point in time, if it gets wet, Bacteria can easily travel along this length and offset infections. Anytime any normal flora moves from its normal environment into another environment, it brings about infections. At this point, I'll let us note this, that the urethral orifice has its normal flora, which is quite or slightly different from that of the vaginal flora which is also very different from the anal flora. And as much as we can, they are not supposed to intermingle at any point in time. And as long as they are staying within their places, their natural environment, they don't bring any problems. Ladies, 
let's do well to ensure this simple safety steps for our own good. Let's do well not to shave too clean to the skin. As you shave to skin clean, it will be likely that you get some cuts and when the hair is growing back, you feel a lot of irritation and itchiness around the vulva and around the pubis. The hair, as it's available around the vulva and on the pubis, it is for safety and precaution. Safety in the sense that the pubis can easily get hurt during intercourse or quietus. Oh, sorry, quietus is another term for sex as well as sexual intercourse. So, so from time to time, I'll be interchanging these things. I want you to join me on this study as we all go together and get improved on our feminine hygiene and feminine tips. Other practices that does not help vagina hygiene is self-medication. Whether you are taking it orally or you are inserting it. Ladies, it's a no. Sometimes, as you self-medicate, you might be taking some kind of antibiotics for viral infections, which might really not be necessary. And other times, we usually take antibiotics for yeast infections. As far as health education is concerned, we usually don't recommend medications. The most appropriate recommendation is at any point in time, you observe yourself having any kind of infection please report to the hospital or appropriate healthcare providers to give you the appropriate medications and treatment. In prescribing medication sometimes, you realize that either you are having more of bacteria or more of a yeast, which will surely offset infections. So as your healthcare provider gives you these medications, they look out for some of these signs and symptoms to make sure that you are getting the right dose in its right quantity for the duration that you need the care for. There is this practice we usually do around my part of the world that when a lady goes to the hospital and is given some kind of treatment for the feminine care or feminine infections, they think that because I had it this time and the doctor prescribed it, next time when I have it, I'm going to get myself those same medications. After all, the symptoms were similar. Ladies, unfortunately, it might not be the same thing. Some infections look very similar. And sometimes you are not able to tell one from the other, especially those of us who are laymen. For example, vulvovaginal candidiasis, chlamydia, the discharges that come along them looks very similar, but they are not the same. Thus, the treatments are different. I also want us to know that anytime you have any form of infection, like HIV, there is what we call immunosuppression. There is a suppression of your immune system. Anytime there is a suppression of the immune system, it's easy, any infection that passes by, you are likely to have such an infection. So, when you overuse some kind of medications, especially antibiotics, there is a likelihood that you are going to suppress good bacteria that are supposed to be normal flora upsetting part of your body, offsetting much serious infections. Let's note to avoid such. Lest I forget, do well to subscribe to the channel. Hit the new thank you button you see and do well to hit the notification bell so you'll be noted as soon as we drop our videos.